Hey book buddies, I'm Eric from Lonesome Reader and I read the most extraordinary novel over the weekend and I just had this premonition uh, yeah, and yes, uh, I am the Nostradamus of the 21st century. I had this premonition that this novel will win the Booker Prize this year. And the last time I felt this way was about a year ago uh, when I read George Saunders' Lincoln in the Bardo uh, shortly before it was published. And I thought this was the most extraordinary novel in how like technically brilliant it was but also how it just totally emotionally gripped me. It seemed like the perfect potential winner for the booker. So uh, as you may have seen if you regularly watch my videos or read my blog, uh, that I actually placed a bet at the bookies that this would win the booker prize last year and it did. I mean I was torn when it came time for the actual competition because my heart wanted Ali Smith to win but like in my head I was saying George Saunders is probably gonna win. Anyway I thought it would be interesting and fun uh, to stake my claim early by declaring that I think this novel that I just read will win the Booker Prize later this year. And I believe that I have some good reasons for, uh, logical reasons for believing that it, it'll do so. But whether it does win or not, I think it's an amazing novel that I hope a lot of people will read. So what book am I talking about? I haven't even said what novel it is that I read yet, have I? Well, uh, here it is. Dun, 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 dun. It is Sight by Jessie Greengrass and this is her debut novel although a couple years ago she published a collection of short stories with the very long title An Account of the Decline of the Great Auk According to One Who Saw It uh, and it's always really challenging to show this on camera because it has a white background so it sort of disappears but uh, this is what it looks like. It has a really beautiful cover. But I loved the invention and beauty and deep thoughtfulness of these short stories. And this book won the Edge Hill Prize, uh, which honors books of short stories. And it also uh, won a Somerset Mom Award. And uh, Jesse Greengrass was shortlisted for the Sunday Times Young Writer of the Year Award um, that year uh, for this book. Uh, which, by the way, um, I was on an ish an official um, shadow panel uh, for the prize that year, uh, along with Simon Savage. And uh, we chose, along with some other uh, great bloggers, um, that this book um, should win the prize, although the actual winner of the Young Writer of the Year Award um, was Max Porter for his great novel, uh, Grief is a Thing with Feathers. And that, so that's just a way of saying that um, Jesse Greengrass has already won some awards and so like I expect this new novel, Sight, will probably pick up some awards as well. Now Sight, uh, it's not actually been published yet. It'll be published on February 22nd by the publisher John Murray. On the surface, it's a fairly simple story about a young woman who is facing the prospect of motherhood and her uncertainty about whether she actually wants to be a mother. And she feels ambivalent about this for some very good reasons which are shown over the course of the novel um, as it's uh, revealed that she cared for her mother um, during her terminal illness and uh, her complicated relationship with her grandmother who was a psychotherapist. The way she explores her confusion and feelings over this dilemma is by researching and reading and expounding upon the lives of several different figures, historical figures, um, most of whom lived over a century ago and they, they vary from um, the founder, um, the man who's attributed with uh, founding the X-ray, uh, to Sigmund Freud and his professional relationship with his daughter Anna, and the surgeon and scientist John Hunter. And somehow the narrator of this novel finds within the lives of these these innovators who gave humanity a new perspective for seeing the body and understanding the mind, uh, they give her a touchstone towards finding a cohesive sense of being. The story moves back and forth between scenes from her life and accounts of these innovators and that might sound like it's kind of awkward like sliding between fiction and non-fiction but it's done in such a fluid way that it always feels emotionally relevant because she connects with the lives of these historical figures talking about their personal struggles and the intense dilemmas in their process of discovery, uh, just like she's undergoing these dilemmas in her process of changing from a young adult into an adult 
and a daughter into a mother. And the writing in this novel is beautifully pitched. It is like at once poetic and philosophical. So this book might not have a lot of drama in terms of action, like it's a very introspective novel, uh, but it has this searching and sensitive quality about it in how it relates the narrator's mindful journey uh, towards becoming a mother that it just completely captivated me. Right, so clearly I think this is a great novel, uh, but why do I think it will win the Booker? Well, Fiona Mosley's novel Elmet was on the Booker Prize shortlist last year, and that was also published by John Murray. So the prize recognizes that this is a publisher with innovative new writers coming out of it. Also, the past four winners of the Booker Prize have been men, uh, so perhaps it's time for a woman to win again? The, the last time a woman one was in 2013 uh, and that was Eleanor Catton for her brilliant novel The Luminaries. I mean, I don't seriously think that gender should be a determining factor about whether a writer should win a prize or not, but when you look at a big like overview of who wins a prize and like year after year after year it's men, you have to start wondering like what's going on here, uh, but that's a whole complicated issue. Also, in the past several years the Booker winners have tended to be quite long epic novels, so maybe it's time for a like shorter, more internally focused novel to win the prize. Like tonally, I think this novel is more like uh, past Booker winners, Julian Barnes' The Sense of an Ending, or uh, John Banville's novel The Sea. But it also seems like the Booker is recognizing more innovative and daring fiction like last year with George Saunders. Uh, so for all those reasons, I think uh, Sight will win the Booker Prize this year. Now, of course, you could make similar arguments for why many other books might win the prize this year. And of, of course, there's still many more books that are yet to be published this year uh, before the long list is announced on July 24th. There's new novels coming out by Peter Carey, Madeline Miller, Julian Barnes, Atessa Moshfeg, Pat Barker, and Kate Atkinson. And the judges of the prize change every year and obviously have different tastes that they mold to the criteria that they're given towards picking a winner. Basically, I'm making a wild guess. Watch, this novel won't even be long listed for the prize and then I'll just have egg all over my face and uh, I really hate scrambled eggs. But I'm going on my instinct as someone who reads a lot of new fiction, so we'll see what happens. If this novel does win, hopefully I'll get some kudos for giving the earliest prediction ever, uh, but if it doesn't win, then let's pretend this video never happened. <laughs> but totally feel free to throw your hat into the ring and leave a comment below if you want to make a crazily early prediction of who you think might win the Booker Prize this year. Or just let me know if you think I'm crazy. Uh, but I hope I've perked your interest in this novel that, reward or not, I think is really something special. If you want to know more of my thoughts about it, I'll uh, post a link to my full review in the description below. So I hope you're doing well and you're reading good things. I'll speak to you soon, book buds.